So Bob Inglis here, very disappointed that the NIH has um, issued final rules that permit uh, funding for embryo, embryo destructive stem cell research. Very disappointing. You know, the, uh, I've spoken earlier about uh, the preliminary rules. These final rules uh, make it now the law of the land that we are going to fund with NIH dollars the um, creation of additional stem cell lines that come from the destruction of human embryos. And you know, the, the thing that's very important to know here is that um, there's no reason to have excess embryos, as is often talked about. The reason that we have excess embryos is it's more convenient for the, uh, the people doing the procedures to go ahead and fertilize multiple eggs. The result is it's about uh, the dollars and cents of running through these clinics rather than the importance of the human beings that we're creating in this process. So it's very disappointing that NIH is basically taking this utilitarian approach that really will lead us to bad places. We should be having a bright line test of saying that human beings are valuable at all stages of life from the moment of conception to natural birth. And here what we're doing is we're using public money to, to fund research on uh, stem cell lines, creation of stem cell lines, that um, uh, cause embryos to be destroyed so that we can do some utilitarian research. That's a sad day when it comes to depreciating the value of human life. Bob Inglis here. Thanks for listening.